Exam 77-882 Microsoft Excel 2010 MOS Here is the travel expenses So on these expenses statements worksheets You go to format K10 To one of the number formats So the number format Right now is free number format. With no decimal place. So you're gonna click on this button, decrease decimal, click two times. And then apply the same formatting to cell K11 to K23. So I'm gonna do it. Copy this, fill it down. After that, click on the auto fill options. Few formattings only. Watch this. So notice that all other cell that is filled is now removing the decimal. Let's remove the decimals. Next, continue on the expenses statements. We're going to apply a custom number formatting to the total value. It's cell K23. That will cause it to be displayed in green if it's a positive numbers and red if it's a negative. We're going to click on format cells. Then you click on the customs. Well, we're going to choose one of them and then change. We want to select this. And we're going to change that to so it's positive will be blue. So we'll try that. Uh, sorry, green. Okay, display in green if it's a positive numbers, and there's no decimal point. So we're going to remove that. And red if it's negative numbers. Mm. And click OK. So take a closer look. Right. There are, the number format has four sessions. There are, right now we are using the first two sessions. The first session is about positive. The second session is about negative. And click OK. And watch out. The totals now is being color to green color is so a font size right now let's say we just change it to negative 8 and you notice that it turns into a red color this is nothing to do with condition formatting but it's all about custom number formats okay next on the expression statements state you're going to change the font size of header in cells A9 to K9. We're going to change that. In cell A9 to K9 and K10 to K19. Apply background. There is two shape darker than the current ones. So we're gonna check this out. Two shape darkers. So that could be the answer. Lastly, place a tick box border in the Bushes row two. I notice that row two. This is a merged cell. It merged all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Hand cell is now merged into one. Now we're gonna take a pick box border. Okay, that's it. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching. This is Ken Lau, MOS expert. MOS Excel Core expert.